Let us now take a short quiz to test our understanding of the entire session. XYZ traders purchased a vehicle in year 1 for rupees 3 lakh. They are charging depreciation and written down value method. At the end of year 1, they sold the car for 1,65,000 and incurred a loss of 75,000. The rate of depreciation per annum is. So let us just is A 10%, B 15%, C 20% and B 25%. So here they purchased a vehicle. The cost of the vehicle was 3 lakh. They charged depreciation written down value method and at the end of year 1, the car was sold for 1,65,000 and it incurred a loss of 75,000. 1,65,000 was what they sold it for. The loss was 75,000. Therefore, the total book value must have been 2,40,000. Depreciation therefore the original cost 3 lakh, depreciation is 3 lakh minus 2 lakh 40,000, it must have been 60,000. Rate of depreciation is 60,000 divided by 3 lakh into 100 equal to 20%. Correct answer should be C, 20%. C, 20%. If the rate of depreciation is same, then the amount of depreciation on the straight line method vis-a-vis -vis the written down value method will be. If the rate of depreciation is the same, then the amount of depreciation on the straight line method vis-a-vis -vis the written down value method will be A, equal in all years, equal in the first year but higher in subsequent years, C, equal in the first year but lower in subsequent years, B. Lower in the first year but equal in subsequent years. So here the rate of depreciation is the same. So let us say it is 10% on the straight line method and 10% on the written down value method. The question is if that is the case, in the first year it is the same rate, first year on the straight line method and written down value method it is going to be the same. In the next year, under the straight line method, it is going to be 10% on the original cost. But under the written down value method, it is going to be 10% on the book value, which is a reduced value. Therefore, under written down value, it will be less. The amount of depreciation under straight line method will be equal in the first year, but it will be higher in subsequent years. It will be higher under straight line method and lower under the written down value method. The correct answer should be B. Next, <clears throat> a machine is purchased for 1 lakh. Installation charges of 10,000 are incurred. Depreciation at the rate of 10% was provided on straight line basis. The machine was sold for 60,000 after 5 years. Calculate the profit or loss on sale of machine. A. 5,000 loss, B, 5,000 profit, C, 60,000 profit and D, 40,000 loss. So the machine is purchased for 1 lakh, installation charges of 10,000, 1 lakh 10,000 is the total cost of the machine. Depreciation is provided at the rate of 10% on straight line basis. Therefore, the amount of depreciation is 11,000 each year. 11,000 per ton. The machine was sold for 60,000 after 5 years. So depreciation for 5 years since every year is equal is 11,000 into 5 equal to 55,000. This is the amount of depreciation. The machine is sold for 60,000 after 5 years. So what is our cost of, what is the written down value of the machinery? It was 1,10,000 minus 55,000. The value of the machinery is 55,000. 
the value of the machinery is 55000 is the written down value of the machinery it is sold for 60000 therefore there is a profit of 5000 the correct answer should be b 5000 profit next depreciation is to be calculated from the date of a asset put to use b purchase order of asset c receipt of asset at business premise d invoice of assets depreciation is to be calculated and under a situation where four options have to be given we choose the best answer the answer which is closest to the most accurate answer so the depreciation is to be calculated from the date that the asset is put to use purchase order of the asset receipt of the asset at the business invoice of the asset it should be asset put to use it is not on the basis of the purchase order of the asset because if the asset does not come in if the asset is not in a condition to be used i should be able in a position to immediately use the asset so it cannot be purchase order of the asset it is not enough to just receive the asset at the business premises it needs to be installed and ready to use it would not depend upon the invoice of the asset it would depend upon when the asset is put to use therefore the correct answer is a abc limited purchased a machine on purchased a machine for rupees 120000 installation expenses were 10000 residual value after 5 years is 5000 and 6 months later expenses for repairs were incurred to the extent of 2000 depreciation is provided at 10% on the written down value method and depreciation for the fourth year would be a 25000 b 13000 c 10000 530 and b 9477 so this machine is purchased for 120000 installation expenses are 10000 therefore total cost of the machinery is 130000 residual value is not important for us because the rate of depreciation is anyway given to us expenses for repairs is not a part of the cost of the asset that is a cost for maintaining the machine the machine has started operation if a second hand machinery was bought and repairs expenditure had to be incurred then we would consider that cost to be a part of the cost of the asset but this is for maintaining the asset this is not a part of the cost of the asset since it's 10 percent depreciation for year one would be 13 thousand therefore the balance remaining is 117,000 at the end of year one depreciation again for the next year year two depreciation would be 11,700 balance would be ten one lakh five thousand three hundred. Next year, year three, depreciation would be ten thousand five hundred and thirty. And the balancing written down value of the asset would be This would be the written down value of the asset at the end of year 3. So that year 4, 10% would be 9477. This should be the amount of depreciation. Therefore, the correct answer is option B. Next. ABC Limited purchased a machine for 120000 installation expenses 10000 and residual value after 5 years 5000 6 months later expenses for repairs were incurred to the extent of rupees 2000 depreciation is provided at the rate of 10% per annum under straight line method and depreciation for the fourth year would be here it is 120000 plus 10,000, 1 lakh 30,000 is the cost of the asset. Depreciation is 10% per annum. 
ten percent per annum, it would be thirteen thousand for every year. And our correct answer, therefore, should be A, thirteen thousand, whichever year it is. It's a fixed amount of depreciation under SLM method. Therefore, the correct answer is A. Next, which of the following is not true with regard to fixed assets? They are acquired for using them in the conduct of business operations. They are not meant for resale to earn profit. C. They can easily be converted into cash. D. Depreciation at specified rates is to be charged on most of the fixed assets. So, which is not supposed to be true? Are the fixed assets acquired for using in the conduct of the business? Yes. They are not meant for resale to earn profit. That is true. They are run. They are used for operating the business. They can easily be converted to cash. That's not true. Depreciation at specified rates is to be charged on most of the fixed assets. Also true. Therefore, which of the following is not true with respect to fixed assets? The correct answer should be C. Which of the following expenses is not included in the acquisition cost of a plant and equipment? A. Cost of site preparation. B. Delivery and handling charges. C. Installation cost. And D. Financing cost incurred subsequent to the period after plant and equipment is put to use. Which of the following expenses is not included in the acquisition cost? Cost of site preparation is a part of the acquisition cost. Delivery and handling charges would be a part. Installation cost is a part of the cost of plant and equipment. Financing costs which are incurred subsequent to the period after plant and equipment is put to use is not a part of the acquisition cost of a plant and equipment. Therefore, D would be the correct answer. For charging depreciation on which of the following assets, the depletion method is adopted. For plant and machinery, for land and building, for goodwill or wasting assets like mines and quarries. Normally, depletion method would be used for wasting assets like mines and quarries. For plant and machinery, normally we use the written down value method. For land and building, we could use written down value method or straight line method. Goodwill. We normally do what is called amortization because it is an intangible asset. So the correct answer here is D. In which of the following methods is the cost of the asset written off in equal proportion during its useful economic life? A. Straight line method. B. Written down value method. C. Units of production method. And D. Sum of years digits method. So the question is, in which of the following methods is the cost of the asset written off in equal proportion? In straight line method, it is written off in equal proportion. Written down value is reducing. Units of production will depend on the number of units produced. Sum of years digits is also reducing. Therefore, the correct answer would be A. The portion of the acquisition cost of the asset yet to be allocated is known as written down value, accumulated value, realizable value or D, salvage value. The portion of the acquisition cost of the asset yet to be allocated would be known as the written down value. Accumulated value is a vague concept. You do not know what is accumulated value. Realizable value is the value that you will get on sale of an asset. Salvage value is the scrap value. The portion of the acquisition cost yet to be allocated would be known as the written down value. Written down value has to be written off now over the remaining period of life of the asset. Correct answer would therefore be A. Next, PQ Limited purchased a machinery for rupees 3 lakh. It is estimated that the machinery will have a useful life of 5 years after which it will have no salvage value. If the company follows some of the year's digits method of depreciation, the amount of depreciation charged during the 5th year was A. 1 lakh B. 80,000 C. 60,000 and D. 20,000 Purchase machinery it is 3 lakh 
useful life of five years, no salvage value. Some of the year's digits method is what is being followed, charged during the fifth year. Since the life is for five years, under the sum of the year's digits method, the formula is to take the depreciable amount, that is 3 lakh, multiply it by the remaining useful life of the asset, including the current year. So that is only one year, because we have reached the end of the fifth year, divided by, we can take sum of the digits, 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. That is, 3 lakh into 1 by 15 equal to 20,000. Therefore, in the fifth year, the depreciation should be 20,000. Correct answer should be D. Next, JPK Travels Limited bought four vans costing 120,000 each. The company expected to fetch a scrap value of 25% of the cost price of the vehicles after 10 years. The vehicles were depreciated under the fixed installment method up to 5 years. The rate of depreciation charged was A10%, B9%, C8.5% and B7.5%. Now let us follow the question. The, the four vans were bought costing 1,20,000 each. Since we need to find the rate of depreciation, I am taking the value of each one van, 1,20,000. Scrap value is 25% of 1,20, that's 30,000, giving me a balance of 90,000. The scrap is expected after 10 years, so we may assume that the life of the asset is for 10 years. The vehicles were depreciated under fixed installment up to 5 years. The rate of depreciation. The fact that the vehicles have been depreciated only for 5 years till now will not affect the rate of depreciation. We are going to continue depreciating the asset for the next 5 years. So, what is the amount of depreciation? This 90,000 would be spread over 10 years giving us a depreciation per annum of 9000. So what is the rate of depreciation? It is the depreciation per annum divided by the cost of the asset 9000 by 120,000 into 100 which is equal to 7.5%. Therefore the answer is 7.5%. Amortization refers to writing off depleting assets Wasting assets, intangible assets, or fictitious assets. Normally, amortization refers to writing off of intangible assets. Answer should be C.